Hey, well, what's up there, YouTube, and everybody out there on the interwebs? I wanted to do a video today about uh, a luggage rack system that I've kind of added to my bike that I not really made, but uh, found something that uh, can add as a, an extension, a, a platform extension to where I could add more luggage, especially when riding two up. And I had searched the internet for something to buy just couldn't find anything and i know that they have the rick rack system but that's upwards over four hundred dollars basically has one suitcase attached to it and i guess you could stack more bags on top of that strap down on top of that but again that's four hundred plus dollars and so i didn't want to uh, spend quite that much and i wanted to find something that i could put multiple bags on there and just have a good system uh, that could carry everything that I wanted to carry. Now, I had searched the internet, couldn't find anything, like I said, and I started browsing the internet for ideas and going to Lowe's and Home Depot and seeing if I could find something, and I came across something. So, this is for Harleys, like tours, like your Road Kings, your street glides your road glides that don't have the tour pack trunk on the back you just have the luggage rack or basically it could be for any touring motorcycle uh, regardless of the brand where you have a luggage rack on the back you could add this too so mine as you can see here i have an 03 uh, anniversary edition road king classic pretty nice bike uh i'll say but um so here it is what i found when I, I didn't even know what this thing was i didn't even know these things existed so what this is that i have mounted to my two up luggage rack here is what they call a project or garden kneeler or sitting bench you can kneel on it and flip it up and then sit on it too so what i've done is i have <clears throat> anchored this thing to my luggage rack and as you can see right now it's folded up it, it's anchored to the luggage rack. It's folded up. And then when I want to use it, I'll I have to do this by holding the camera in one hand. You pull up the, the legs of this thing. They're spring-loaded and they lock in. Pull up the legs. So now you've got these side mounts to where you can carry luggage in between. And it's kind of secure from side to side. But what these legs do, and I had uh, my brother help me bend these end on the top to make them a little bit uh, narrower because I have some um, motorcycle backpacks, waterproof backpacks that have the sleeves that this goes up inside the sleeves and holds the, the bags. So uh, this will hold the bags up inside as they're made to and then I can stack more luggage in between and then I'll strap that down to the luggage rack. But um, as you can see, this thing fits perfectly on my bike and not only that it has thick rubber on the top thick rubber on the bottom I don't know if you can see that because it, again it's a pad for sitting and kneeling so it's not going to scratch or mess up the chrome finish on your luggage rack and I you know bought this hardware from Lowe's so I got this 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 kneeler at Lowe's for 25 bucks and then the hardware that I got here that I secured it with was about $50 with all the different bolts and stuff. Um, I, I bought extra uh, nylon bolts to screw down on these studs to uh, keep them from uh, anything from vibrating loose. Uh, and on the bottom of the U-bolt uh, plate, I guess, that, that has the tension on the bottom, I put uh, sticky back felt strips on each one. So that it cannot scratch my chrome on the bottom. And let me tell you something. And these turnbuckle things, I use these turnbuckle things so you can adjust this uh, with, with the length and get it how you want. Uh, and then turn the heads here so that the, the square U-bolt don't slip off. But uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> this thing is secure to this motorcycle. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. And, uh, you know, I've got my bike up on a a uh, little bit of, of like a two by four board and uh just to get my bike a little bit more, more straight for the video so it's not still leaning over but at least it's not leaning as far over as or far as far over as it would 
but again this thing is secure to the bike i can shake this thing it shakes the whole bike it ain't coming off i haven't test drove it yet but i'm going to do uh, several test rides with this thing fully loaded down with packed luggage going down the freeway 80 miles an hour before i take my big trip i'm gonna do all the test driving go over bumps to make sure that i'm not gonna have any issues with this thing coming loose or bouncing around vibrating loose anything so uh stay tuned for the next video or not the next video but i'm going to add another piece to the, to this um uh, when it when it's loaded down with my luggage so you can see what it looks like and then also i was thinking if i had problems with this hardware i carry uh uh the pull straps the you know loading straps so if something went wrong i could i could put straps across this thing to give it more support uh, if needed, but I don't think I'm gonna need it again. This thing is is solid. It's it's on there and uh, I'm gonna take it for a test spin But before I do that I'm gonna uh, add to this same video uh, Another uh, the next part that will show this thing Fully loaded down with my luggage what kind of luggage I'm using how it's gonna go on this thing and what it's gonna look like All right folks, I'm back and here we have it. We got all the luggage on here. And this is luggage for two people. Uh, everything uh, strapped down, secured. The backpacks, as I stated earlier, have the pockets where these bars go up in the back of the backpack with an internal strap and an external strap to secure it, each backpack to the side. Uh, then, of course, I have the heavy... Uh, heavy loaded suitcase uh, right in the middle of the rack over the back tire so you know first glance you could say that wow this thing is gonna have all kinds of wind resistance gonna throw you around gonna be off balance um, you know all kinds of comments people might make but you know what I got out I rode this thing 80 miles an hour down the freeway down uh, back roads neighborhood roads slow fast bumps everything and uh, no issues i mean when you're up and riding th this bike balances itself uh as long as you're moving above five miles an hour so and and the way i've got it packed is uh it's it, the weight is evenly distributed so it's not like i have more weight on the left or right this is basically uh, equal weight it's it's perfectly balanced everything's good and with the passenger uh, on the bike uh, I can still handle this bike with no issues. Uh, any kind of wind resistance is, is not an issue. So uh, everything turned out great. I'm looking forward to the trip that I'm taking. Uh, again, I'm so glad that I discovered this. I'm able to cover, uh, carry more luggage uh, securely, safely, without having to worry. Is this stuff going to blow off? What's going to happen? Is it going to shift? Is it going to move? So I did all this, like I said, uh, parts uh, fr from Lowe's. The whole thing was about 75 bucks, under $100. And, uh, you know, I'll keep this uh, rack on there when I get to my destination uh, because it does take uh, 20 minutes or so to bolt the thing on. But when I get to my destination and get the luggage off of it, as you saw, saw earlier, the legs fold down. So I'll keep it uh, on there while I'm... Uh, sightseeing with the bike and riding around because there's no need to take it off while i'm there so the fold the legs fold in and i can ride with it now when i get back home and i'm not going on trips for quite a while well, i'll undo the whole thing take it off and it'll just be the luggage rack itself on there so i hope that this uh, helps anybody out there that's looking to do something to carry more luggage safely uh weight distribution evenly and uh and on a budget again 75 bucks and also I wanted to point out that I got these backpack, uh, motorcycle backpacks. This is something new to me. Uh, these are field line motorcycle backpacks. Uh, they're weather resistant, weatherproof. Uh, you, you know, uh, this covers up the zippers, this folded flap. Um, you open it up and it's got a, a roll top uh, uh, bag on top after you stuff the bag, you roll it, secure it. So in case water does get in there, your belongings aren't gonna get wet. Uh, those were $40 each. That, you know, I think I got them uh, uh, through Walmart or Amazon, uh, one of those websites. I mean, it, actually, they were about 35 bucks. 
so maybe 40 with tax or whatnot but 40 bucks a bag i mean a motorcycle bag they have uh storage pockets on the inside water resistant they're made for a motorcycle the carry and sleeve uh to uh connect them to the bike or connect them to that platform i put on there that project kneeler and then the the bag in the middle i've i've had that bag for quite a while that was my first luggage set and uh i think that was a hundred dollars 150 bucks but it has a it has a uh a, a roll top bag that goes that connects to the top of it but i'm not bringing that and the reason that i've got a a pull strap on that is because when i bought it uh it it has all the the straps and stuff to connect it to a sissy bar but because i have the extra wide passenger backrest uh those straps don't work out and uh so i don't want to take that um backrest off or get a skinnier one because i want my passenger to be comfortable so with this uh uh rack system you know it sits right there in the middle of those uh uh, legs uh, per se and I just put one strap on there and it's secured on there so and my passenger can ride just fine I don't have to worry about that big bag moving because it ain't moving and everything again is secure safe tried and tested 80 miles an hour no issues ready to hit the road for a week-long motorcycle trip across the country or whatever I want to do on this bike um, with the partner with the passenger and we can bring everything we want and have a good time so i hope you uh found this video uh informative and gives you ideas and maybe uh you can put something like this on your bike or maybe you'll come up with a better idea but anyway you know just scour the internet scour your big box stores and uh see what's out there because you don't need to spend four hundred dollars on some motorcycle system uh that people are out there selling when you can do this and uh for a, a fraction of that cost and and have multiple bags to put on there and uh it turned out great so i hope you enjoyed it and see you down the road ride safe